G'day guys, Greg here. Well, here I am in beautiful Cabarita in northern New South Wales. Man, what a place this is. And today I've decided to come to the Stun Mullet Fish and Chip Shop. And uh, well, this is a, the only one, I think, in Cabarita. It's got a 4.3 Google star rating. So how about we go in and grab one of their fish and chips and see how good the Stun Mullet is. Let's do it. Stone Muller Fish and Chips. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a couple of things in here. Wow. So we got some chips here. You ripper. Oh, and here's the fish. Wow. How beautiful is this meal? Look. Now, today I got barramundi. Now, you could have got the Southern Whiting for 12 bucks with the chips. But I got the barramundi, only cost $13, so a dollar extra. And it looks really good. Wow, I can't believe we got two lots of sauce with this. How good's that? So the chips, obviously, they're the shoestring ones. They look pretty good. Hmm. Not too bad, as far as shoestring chips go. I'm not a big fan of shoestrings, even at McDonald's. But this sauce here, mmm, a tartare. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's actually quite vinegary, this sauce, the tartare. But it goes real well with these chips. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now the fish today, barramundi. Not even sure if I've had that before. Oh, I've had it before, but I don't know if I've had it on on the reviews before. I may have, but this batter looks really nice and light and fluffy. Looks super crunchy. Wow. And it is, oh, really light, really fluffy, really crunchy. Mmm. Although it doesn't taste like there's a lot of seasoning on it. Ah, well, it might taste good with the fish. And let's suss out this fish. Well, it looks pretty good so far. I mean, it's a decent size. But that fish looks nice. Looks really nicely cooked and look at these big flakes that just fall apart. Oh yeah. Yum. Mmm. Oh yum. Mmm. That barramundi is such a mild taste. It's just, it's just got a slight fish taste, but it's so mild and, and really soft and, well, not too soft, it's still got firmness about it, but it's just a, a really nice taste. It's a classic tasting fish, and this piece tastes really good. And together, mmm. So juicy. The fish goes really well with the batter and it's just really nice. And it's a nice big thick solid piece of fish too. Ah, oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Not too greasy either. It's just right. Mmm. I wonder what it'll taste like with some of this vinegary sort of tartare sauce. As you can imagine, pretty good. <laughs> anyway, it's got some lemon. Let's do the lemon test. All right. Oh, it's, it's so slippery. Can I even pick it up? Mm. 
Mmm, yum. Mmm. Doesn't need the lemon. In fact, maybe just some more tart there. Mmm. Nailed it. Oh, I think these chips are getting jealous that I'm not eating them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, like I said, it's got a 4.3 Google Star rating. I think it deserves more. The batter on this was really nice. The piece of fish, well, it was so well cooked and it was so juicy. It even tasted fresh. The chips, well, they weren't my favorite style. They could have done with a bit more seasoning. I did ask for chicken salt and I couldn't really taste it on there. But the serving size was pretty good and you could probably feed two people with it for a small lunch. So for that reason, I'm going to give this a 4.7 out of 5 stars. I reckon it's really nice and if you're ever down in Cabarita, you should probably whip into the stunned mullet and try one of their fish and chips. Maybe upgrade it a little bit and go for the better one. And if you do go there, tell them Greg sent you. I don't think they'll have a clue, but hey, you never know. Anyway, I'm going to go down and enjoy the beach here. It is one of the best beaches in the whole world. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for my next fish and chip review. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the reviews are finger.